members at Lehigh Valley Barbell. When I was a kid, I was pretty conservative, pretty shy. Well, I was always like attached to my mom's hip. Mm -hmm. um, I have a younger sister, two years younger. She was more the outgoing, very outspoken, always had like, she made friends really easily. Um, so I was never really into any sports. I was like more of like the artsy kid. I feel like the quiet kids are always the artsy kid. Mm -hmm. um, I was into like drawing, I love to read. I always had like a camera in my hand. I was always like making plays with like my one uh, for, like childhood friend. We always made like plays with like our little dolls and stuff. Yeah. So, um, what kind of plays? Like my Beanie Baby plays. That <laughs> 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 were like two hours that we made our parents watch, and they're like, "Dear God, kill me now." <laughs> um, I went to school at Northampton Community College just to see if I would like it um, for radio and television production. Okay. And then um, I realized that I really loved like the TV production part of that program, so then I went to Temple University in Philly. Oh, cool. Um, so I went to school for film and media arts for my uh, second two years. And then after I graduated, Literally, maybe two weeks after I graduated, I had $600 in two suitcases and I moved to Los Angeles where I worked in the film industry for about two and a half years. What did you do in the film industry? Uh, I started off as a production assistant. My first um, project that I worked on was a low budget horror movie. Um, and I was a production assistant, so I learned a lot that I didn't learn in school. Um, basically, a production assistant does they're like it's kind of like an entry level job like a lot of people start off like as a production assistant and so i started off doing that and then i moved my way up working as an assistant director mm -hmm. um and basically like that they do a lot of like um working with like uh the main actors so some of the stuff that i worked on was like gone girl taken three um, I worked on a... <laughs> I, I really tried to hold that in. I was like, hold it in, girl. Hold it in. Um, I worked on a documentary where I got to work with Tom Hanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I looked the other one. I was looking for him. <laughs> um, which is pretty cool because... <laughs> Wait, actually, it's Tom Hanks, everybody! Come I decided to move back to Pennsylvania because, like, freelance work was kind of difficult because you never really knew where your next paycheck was, so I decided to move back home. Which, when I was out in California, um, I actually met somebody on a TV set who was talking to me about CrossFit, and so I was always interested in joining CrossFit, but I was kind of intimidated by it because I knew I was never like an athletic person. Me being an athlete, when I went to like a soccer tryout and I quit in the first five minutes yeah. because I was scared. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, like while I was out in California, I gained like a decent amount of weight. So I um, decided to lose some weight and I didn't really know how to go about doing it. So like I went to like an it was LA Fitness out there, so I ran like a lot because I think when most people think about fitness, they think, oh, I need to do a lot of cardio in order to become like lose weight or to become more in shape. So I did that. One of the owners at the uh, CrossFit gym um, I went to, she actually introduced me to John and Chloe because she saw like I might have had like some type of potential um, doing their barbell club and our. I did their first like three day trial there and everyone was really welcoming there like but I was still like really intimidated to do it because when I looked around like everyone was so much better than me and I was like oh, I'm never gonna be like that. I joined Lehigh Valley Barbell uh, because I felt like I was missing the strength part when I was doing CrossFit so I decided to join them in order to um, help me out with that. But even within the two, first two weeks <clears throat> I, I was there, I realized like how much I really enjoyed being there more. And mm -hmm. I felt like that was more for me. And I felt 
more passionate about it than I did with like CrossFit. You know what I mean? Like CrossFit mm-hmm. was more I was doing it to get in shape. This one, like it it meant something more to me. So like your like your cheese it addiction and then, like, I do have a cheese it addiction. I have to like I buy my family size box all the time and I could probably finish that in a week. I work for an electric company in New Jersey where I read people's electric meters so they can be billed. Um, it requires a lot of walking. So, and I feel like when I talk to my other coworkers, like they're always talking about like how tired they are and like how much their legs are like really sore. But I feel like I kind of like have an advantage being at this gym because like, (laughs) thinking from an outside perspective, like someone like me in this instance, before I even joined, I was like super intimidated by joining because I don't have an athletic background like I never did sports growing up so like what business do I have going into this gym and like doing you know what I mean so I think being able to identify with someone and seeing like oh my god like they're just like me like I don't have an athletic background I don't do sports or like I'm you know a lot older because like you see like a lot of these young kids coming in like I'm 27 and I'm like why should I be doing this? Like, I'm, like, way past, like, that age where... Like, your prime. Right, yeah. exactly. So, like, why should I join? And then... But you can get better by... Like, it doesn't... Like, age doesn't really have... Like, it doesn't define you. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. A lot of the time, like, I... Like, I look at some of these athletes and, like, I hear their background story. Like, there's, like, two in particular. Like, they didn't have an athletic background. I mean, they came from, like, a farm. Yeah. So they're just naturally, like, these. But, like, a lot... Like, there there are some athletes. They don't really come from a, an athletic background. And, like, I know Morgan King, she started weightlifting when she was 27, and she made the Olympics. And, yeah. like, that's really inspiring, I think, to see. Like, we need more stories that are like that. We need, you know, more people talking about that because it brings more people, it gives people confidence to come in and like try it out. Mm. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. But like here, it's just, it's continuous. Like there's no really end goal. Mm-hmm. And like, we have like these programs and you can better yourself like every day. Like whether it doesn't really necessarily mean like you're PRing every day, but like, I mean, like, I've had days where one day I can't, like, hit a certain lift or it just doesn't feel right. And, you know, it, it sucks. Like, you go home and you're, you're really disappointed. But then the next day, like, you kind of have to put that in the past and, like, say that's just one day. And then you come in and you surprise yourself and you completely, like, knock it out of the park. Mm-hmm. And then some, maybe. Like, I go to the gym and I like to, like, come home and hang out with my dogs. But, like, on the weekends, like... I spend a lot of my time either catching up with like friends I don't normally get to see during the week because I'm, you know, I work or at the gym and then I go home and I literally eat dinner and I go to bed. But like on the weekends I catch up with my friends, I see my family that I don't normally get to see. Um, I enjoy a nice cold beer. I spend a lot of time with my dogs, going to the dog park, going on hikes. Um, I like to go out and try new foods. Like I love for some reason I get this excitement of like going to like a new restaurant or just any type of restaurant and I love trying new foods. I just like to eat mm-hmm. cheeseburgers. I'm not even kidding. I can go anywhere and eat a cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Everyone gets mad at me because they're like, can't you try something new? And I'm like, I like what I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs>